Hey there, Thrive hey, Kids, and happy Wednesday. Yes. Hey, Roslyn. Thank you for having some uh, fun crafts here lately, and it looks like we got another messy one today. Yes, it We're, is. We already started into it, and what yes. what are we making today? Okay, so today we are making salt dough. Salt dough. Yes. Got it. I'll let you hold that, because I'll break that. To represent Lot's wife. Yes, that turned into That's a not a cookie. Salt. No, it's not a cookie. I'm do sorry. not do you, eat. Do it's, not eat. It's edible, but it does not taste good. Don't try it. Oh no. Do not uh -uh. Try it. No. Okay. So the supplies that you're gonna need is a spatula, so then it's easier to clean off. And to you mix get, your stuff. Yes. Um, some flour. How much flour are you gonna need? You're gonna need a half. No, a quarter, a quarter cup, cup of quarter flour. cup of flour, and, and then, then some, some extra. extra. Yes, and some extra. You're gonna need an eighth a cup of salt, and you're gonna need an eighth a cup of water. So, first, you're going to pour in your water. Oh, you also need a plate and parchment paper. And a bowl. And oh a yeah, bowl. little piece of parchment paper, wax paper, aluminum foil, something that yep. won't stick. Yep. And a plate and some cleanup rags later. Yes. yes. Okay, so then I have that. So put it all together. Yes. Then you don't mix it up, right? Yes. And we're really gonna make this thing. That's it's not an edible cookie. No, it's not. Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt. If you didn't watch the video make of sure our lesson, go watch. go watch the go lesson because it'll tell you all about what we're doing here today. This one came together really good, actually. Oh, good. But I am going to add a little bit more flour for the consistency. It's a little sticky. So if your flour is, if, if your dough, not flour, if your dough is a little <laughs> you sticky, flour. you got to add a little, a little bit, bit of extra flour. That's why you have some extra flour. And then you can take it and you can go in it with your hands. That's the fun part. Yes, but make sure you put some flour on your hands and it should be at this consistency. Like dough. Yes, like dough. Like okay. pizza dough. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna flour your surface wherever you're playing, wherever you're doing this, and you can use that. Here you go. Here's your simple dough. Okay, so I'm flouring my um, parchment paper, so then it's a little better. And where I have my dough on, which is a plate, I have some flour on it. And make sure you knead it to like a thick consistency. How do you knead, Rosalind? So to knead, uh, it's basically just folding over on top of each other, like stretching a little and folding on, over. So once you have it all kneaded into a good consistency, like cookie dough, okay. but a little thicker, then you're gonna pinch off like a section and you're gonna shape it into a ball. And then you're going to press it down you can use your thumb or anything to press it down and lay it down on your surface. We're making the head, aren't we? Yes, we are. You want them a, uh, this to be a little thinner, right? Yes, you want all of this to be a little thinner so and then it's better and it dries. How long does it take to dry? Um, it, You can let it dry overnight and then if it's still not dry, you can always pop it in the microwave for like 20 seconds and it should be good. And so it hardens up pretty fast. And but then, don't eat it. Yes, do not eat it. It does not taste good. And then now I'm just going to make the body. But I'm just going to pretty much like roll it into like a spew type thing. I don't even know. And then Shape I'm just the body press, however yes, you would like to shape it. Want. If you don't want to make a lady and you want to do a guy, you can do a guy. That's up to you. We were just doing it as a symbol of Lot's wife. Turn it into a pillar of salt. Yes. And you gotta kinda knead the body and head together too, right? Yes. What's next, Ross? Okay, so next you're gonna take off like a pinch of it and you're going to roll it out to like a log shape. Good job. A log shape. A log shape. And then it's going to become Come like on. that. Like that. And then you're going to attach it to part of the body. And then down it becomes the arm. And then you're going to do that again for the other arm. Okay. 
Well, mine broke apart. He's broke. I yeah. got my hand up on my hip. What's my character doing? Hand upon the hip. And then you're gonna pretty much make a little longer piece of that, and that's gonna become your hair, and you're gonna attach it to the head. And I kind of like call it because mine's a lady. And I just. Well, she can have straight hair too. Yes. She can have whatever kind of hair you want her to have. Yes, whatever. Or can you? Yes, whatever type of hair you want. You girl almost got pigtails. It's a like Dora. Dora. I'm making Dora. I'm just kidding. I'm making Dora. Well, they did go to the city of Zora. Maybe they found Dora. Maybe they did find Dora. And then you can add details to it, like eyes or details to the dress. Things however, like that. Yes, however you want it to do. So after it dries, Rosalind. Yes. Can't they decorate it? Yes, you can paint it or however you want, whatever you want to do to it. You can, you can paint it, it, color it. Yep. Hmm, becomes an ornament. Yes, it can if you. Type thing that help remind you of the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. Thank you, Rosalind, for Rosalind, this craft. And, um, this was awesome. This, this was, was awesome. Great, great. Make craft. sure, if you like what you're seeing, if you like the crafts, yeah. make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share. Yes. And subscribe. And hit the little bell for notifications so every time we post a new video, you will be alerted. Hey, true, very true. Thank you for doing that. And thank you for joining us on Wednesdays with Craft Time with Rosalind. We will see yeah. you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.